Hello all, Emirates back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my calipers. I mean, I had my uh, lovely uh, powder coat of wheels done and uh, when you look at the calipers, especially if you've got sports wheels that show a lot of what's going on behind, like the, the like, you know, like calipers and the, the brake disc, you see them very, very corroded. Check this out. Not very sightly, is it? Not too good. Let's take a look at the front. We're going to be focusing on, for the video sake, um, that back uh, passenger side and this front passenger side. And let's take a look. The calipers at the front of this W204 Mercedes is, they are obviously different. This takes more of a load and, and the bigger calipers. But if you check this out, you get you just get this, um, you know, very much uh, a rusted, corroded look. Uh, take it out, check it out. It's just not very sightly when you uh, have some nice wheels on the car and you can see through that. So what many people do, obviously, they paint their calipers. And I've watched no end of different videos um, and picked up so many different tips on doing this uh, paint and calipers. And I've basically got all the correct uh, primers and paints, uh, spray paints. And um, I'm just gonna, I thought I'd make a, a video of how easy is it to paint your brake calipers for the very first time? I've never done it before, um, but I've just gained so much knowledge on, well, which is pretty much such an easy job. Anyway, let's get this wheel off and uh, we'll start with uh, the prep work, which is mainly getting all this years of grime and brake disc dust and things like that. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, as you can see, um, I've got this plate which I've spray painted because it was all black and gungy in the Mercedes emblem. I've got some decal uh, a sticker to go back on there, but I'm obviously um, afterwards. I'm obviously going to have to, you know, mask that up before spraying. But the first thing of the first thing is is to actually wash this. And what I'm going to do is uh, get some hot water, which I've got over here, with some very fine, uh, very coarse rather. Um, emery paper which I'm going to mix with the detergent water and get most of this um, grub and grind, years of grub and grime and brake dust, brake dust off. Let's get on to that part now. Oh. That's the first stage complete. Uh, I've got the majority of the muck off. Uh, I've sanded it. You've been seeing with this very coarse emery paper. Not ideal to put it in water because it does disintegrate. Um, it's just good on its own. And then rinse it off with the uh, with the rag and the detergent. And uh, next, I'm going to let it dry. And I've actually got some proper engine degreasant. So degreasant. Basically, we're going to paint it. We don't want any grease left on that uh, caliper. I'll Right, as you can see, it's all dried now, and uh, time for the degreaser. The one I'm using is a three-in-one uh, heavy-duty uh, degreaser cleaner, engine cleaner. Um, I've used it on other bits and pieces. It seems to work really well, and it should do great for this. Anyway, let's get on with it. It's like a foam. You've got to leave it for five minutes. Anyway, let's spray it on. Right, that's been about five minutes, and what I'm going to do is just get a bit of a rag. Well, I'm not, I'm not even going to get a rag. I'm, what I'm going to do is just get the uh, rinse. Now I'm just going to rinse it off with my bucket back here of uh, detergent uh, water. Give it a good rinse off. Make sure that's all off. We don't want to leave that on, do we? Uh, any excess, it might mess with the uh, primer. And uh, yeah, just let me carry on 
removing that uh, degreaser and I'll be right back. Let's let that dry out and we'll be back to mask that plate and get ready for the first coat of primer. Fantastic, stay tuned. Right, it's pretty much dried off. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's obviously still got a rusty appearance, uh, but hey-ho, um, the primer I've got should take to it well and, it, and, the, and the paint also. But the first thing is I've got to um, tape up my uh, my little emblem plate here, which I explained to you about. Uh, shouldn't be too bad because the actual, it actually protrudes a little bit from the surface, so tape should go back and I should be able to be behind, behind it and should you can actually dry um, all the moisture out as well with a rag beforehand so you can put drag that bet uh, behind because it's obviously going to catch moisture and where you've just washed etc um, I've, I've done that I've dried that out and all I've got to do is just put that this tape and sort of mask it up like an envelope and uh, should be okay anyway let's see how we get on Hey, what do you think? Quick job, effective. Yeah, should be fine. As long as you don't let the tape, you know, protrude too far out and make sure it's tucked well under, um, should do the job just fine. Anyway, that's about it. It's about preparation now, and this is uh, basically uh, you want to sort of mask up anything that's going to obviously not, you know, hit other parts of the, you know. The discs and things like that and uh, at other parts of the brakes you don't want it to and uh, first off I'm going to I can see straight away there's two main parts and that's the actual uh, discs um, the disc itself and it's here you can see there the spray is going to go straight through to the disc so I'm just going to put some mask and tape from here straight down through this mass this mask and tape is quite wide How cool is that? I just thought about that. I thought that's going to be awkward to do, but obviously just stick it to the disc, rotate the disc. Wow, fantastic. One thing we got now is another little bit where we've got the piston. Now, I'm just going to sort of fiddle around and put a bit of tape on that. I'll show you the bit I'm talking about. Obviously this bit here. Let's see what we can do to take that up. All we need now is bin bags so we can actually mask um, completely everything because we're talking about grey primer and we're talking about red paint and you don't want that all over a white car do you so fortunately we're actually in the uh, we're in the wheel arch so that's going to give us a lot of protection but we don't want paint in the wheel arch do we so what I'm going to do now is get some bin bags and uh, show you how to place them in from what I've seen, because this is all new to me, so um, apparently it's just a little split, and you pull the bin bag over, and it all meant to be quite. It's all meant to be quite simple. Anyway, let's get on with it. See if it is. Stay tuned. Right, the idea is to actually get just some standard bin bags. These are 50 liter bags. Um, then basically, just well. They're not quite big enough, so you just open them out, make more use of them, like so. I think that's about right. So you've got a lot of far more. Um, right, let's get you a little bit closer and show you what's going to happen. This is the first time I've done it, but I've seen people do it. Let's see if it's as easy as they, easy as they make out. Right, let's give you a good, a good viewing point. Right, the idea is to actually put a little slit in and then sort of pull it over 
tight so it actually catches behind the back of the caliper. Something like this. And instantly you can get a gist of what's going on. Obviously this is almost done the, just that a few seconds and I've done the cal caliper side. Obviously I've got to tape it down and look out for some other, you know, some little bits I might have missed. But yeah, that's pretty much about it here. And then it's a matter of just, um, uh, you know, uh, masking the inside of the arch and it's all down to spraying. Ooh. Right, that's about it. It's a bit overkill, um, but yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, and I've done it quick. One, uh, you can see it's not a, the best of jobs, but um, it's going to do the job. It's going to do the job. Anyway, let's get on with that primer. Fantastic. Wow, check that out. Now that is pretty damn good. I'm quite happy with that. That, um, I'll give it one more coat in a bit, but that, uh, that actual, um, that red uh, paint I've got, high temperature paint, should work very well. The primer is, let's just see, the primer is etching primer. It's quite a well-known uh, primer uh, for using it on uh, calipers. And it's gel Genolite, Genolite? Uh, the universal etch primer ideal for difficult surfaces like a caliper and I've got the actual paint which we'll have a look at in a minute from the same uh, manufacturer so all should be good anyway catch you in a bit I'm back I've left it a couple of hours and uh, had a bit of a cup of tea and uh, I've read the can it says you've got to leave the uh, the top coat for 24 hours but I'm gonna be naughty for the sake of the video um, it's been more very warm here today I've left it for a couple of hours so, and I think it's cured enough for what it is it's a brake caliper for God's sake you know um, I don't recommend that for anyone else but like I said I'm doing this for the sake of the video because I want to see the outcome and this is my car I've got to drive I've got to go out tonight as well so but let's put that uh, top coat top coat on and see what happens hopefully it's not gonna react with the primer because it's only been you know a few hours and uh, see how we get on but I'm really looking forward to it anyway let's do it let's do this Well, that's looking pretty damn good. Um, I'm just gonna um, give it about 20 minutes, which is normally required, and give it a second coat. Be right back. Right, let's get on with the second coat and see how it goes. If you get the odd little tiny run, who cares? I mean, it's not. It's never gonna, I mean, I like to do the best job I possibly can, but if you get a little run, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna get really seen. It's only that little slight, you know, cosmetic appearance through the wheels. Anyway, let's get on with that second coat. Stop blabbering on. Well, I've got a little bit of a slight run there. I'm not too bothered about that. It's a bit of a line there. Um, but hopefully when that dries out, that won't be too apparent. Uh, but I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. Uh, just hang on to the end of the video and I'll, I'll take all this um, prep off and we'll see what the overall looked like. And I'll stick that wheel back on, see if it's uh, how it looks through my wheels. Stay tuned. 
Right, that's half an hour gone and it's all time to get the prep, prep off. Um, I'll show you through that process and we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll shove the wheel on, we'll see what the, the, the finished process looks like. Anyway, let's get on to it. Well, there's that side of things. Actually, I've still got that little bit of tape to take off the knife. Let's just check that out. I'm very pleased with that. Fantastic. Let's get that wheel back on and see what it looks like. Be right back. And finally, the finished product. Uh, what do you think? Is it worth it? Is it just being a bit of a pose? <laughs>